You know, for any number of reasons, muzzle devices have become a very common and sometimes very important part of a person's rifle. And I've tried lots of different muzzle devices. I experimented with a bunch of different 5.56 five, or 223 muzzle devices for my IWI Tavor, ranging from um, linear comps to flash hiders to muzzle brakes. And the comp, I'm sorry, but the muzzle device that's on my Tavor right now is the Precision Armaments EFAB or Enhanced Flash Arresting Brake. Now, it enhances the flash arresting capabilities and it's also a brake. Brake works really, really well. And we have a video about that. You can find the link in the description below. I'm not going to go over all the different brakes that we have tried or I've tried over the years and some of those have videos out on them, but rather I want to talk about timing that break easily. Now proper timing you've probably heard is really really important and I 100% agree with that. Timing your muzzle brake correctly is super important to its effectiveness. But you know I've purchased some of these brakes and uh, well the Ruger hybrid brake that I'm using or have used on my Ruger precision rifle uh, that came with a jam nut. That's an okay approach to it, um, and uh, I guess it, it certainly does work. Now, some folks have said that they've had it come loose, or it starts backing back out, loosens up the whole thing. I think if you do it and you really, really tighten up that jam nut, it's going to be just fine. After I did that on my own system, didn't have any problems. Other muzzle brakes give you or tell you to use a crush washer. I'm not a fan of crush, wa uh, crush washers, and in fact, the most recent brake that I installed was for my 6.5 Grendel. And that particular brake is the VG6 Gamma 6.5. I did a couple of tests with other muzzle brakes on that particular rifle and really found that one to be quite effective. Now, I will say this, I suspect that there are other brakes that are even more effective, like the Precision Armaments HyperTap, but I wasn't looking for the most extreme braking capability. Uh, what I was looking for is just enough of a muzzle brake to reduce muzzle rise and allow me, especially when I'm in the prone position, to watch that target at you know 200 yards or 300 yards whatever it happens to be and by the way when we're talking about or I mentioned the HyperTap let me tell you I, I did purchase another HyperTap from Precision Armaments and I installed that on my Ruger Precision Rifle because I noticed that the Ruger hybrid brake that I had on for a couple of years um, I really wasn't able to see the target impact um, at, at let's say 200 yards. I had I, I couldn't get back down fast enough to see what's going on at that target, and so I changed. I, I changed it over to the hyper tap, and that thing is is really a phenomenal break. It works fantastic, and it's not bad for me when it's sitting out there. 20 some inches away from my face. There are other people who have said as they might be around me while I'm shooting that, wow, that thing really has a blast and there's no doubt about it. In fact, um, when I kind of try to pay attention to it, I can almost feel it like going over my head and around my shoulders or something like that. Uh, it does. It is a tremendously effective brake, but it does have a tremendous amount of blast to it. But again, that's not what I'm uh, really wanting to talk about. What I want to talk about is timing. And I'm not a huge fan of jam nuts. They work okay. I am not a fan at all of crush washers. In fact, that VG6 Gamma I was supposed to install with a crush washer. I started that and I said, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use the AccuWasher system that is made by Precision Armaments. Yes, that's the same folks that make the HyperTap and the EFAB. The EFAB's fantastic uh, as well. 
So I now have a set of AccuWashers for, let's say, 556. Five, That's um, our 1 half by 28. And then let's say our um, 308 or um, other rifles. That is the um, 5 eighths by 24. And these things make timing your break absolutely simple. Absolutely simple. And you're going to get it exactly as you want it. So if we take a look at the instructions that come with the AccuWasher system, that there's a nice handy little table. And what it says there, it's telling us uh, to find the additional degrees required. And there's a shim number, they call it shim, shim number 18, uh, 1 through 18. You're not going to find that number on the shim on the AccuWasher itself. What you're going to find are those corresponding marks on the far right side. But before we even get to that, let's talk about that additional degrees required. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to put that muzzle device onto your rifle, thread it on without anything, without a crush washer or anything at all, just the muzzle device. And then from the muzzle end, take a look at it. Take a look at it closely. And what I did is I actually printed, um, this is an enlarged version just for the video, but I printed on semi-transparency sort of a compass, right? Sort of a compass right there. And uh, the, boy, this really made it so simple. Uh, I just placed this. The bore is right here. And I'm looking at that thing. And what I might de be able to determine is that I have to go another, you know, 10 degrees. And how do I even know that? Well, you know, those muzzle brakes will have a top side and a bottom side, a left and a right. And oftentimes the words, a little bit of marking, or the ports on the top that are going to help push the muzzle down when it's firing, they're going to be straight up, pointed straight up. Okay, it's pretty easy to figure that stuff out. So, as I'm looking at this, let's say that the top of that muzzle device is pointed off in this direction right over here. And as I read my little overlay on that muzzle device, I say, well, that's pretty much at 300 degrees, which means to move it to the top would be 360 degrees. Therefore, I need to move it 60 degrees. And now I go to or back to the little table, and I look at this, additional degrees required, 20, 40, 60. Oh, there it is. It is shim number 16, and it has three bold marks and one light mark on it. Now, you might be like, wow, bold marks and light marks. It's not too difficult, because the difference between a bold mark and a light mark on the washer is absolutely plain. Let me show you what I mean. All right, so what do we have here? If you guessed two bold marks and three light marks, you're absolutely right. Notice that those bold marks are deeper, they're wider, and they're spaced out more. This one, on the other hand, is a two and two. Too bold, too light. So now all I need to do is go through these washers, and you get a lot of washers when it, for a set. You get a lot of washers, and now, by the way, you can buy uh, a much smaller, you don't have to buy the whole set all over again. Um, you can just buy individual uh, washers. But um, now we just go through it, and we find the one that we want. And I'm telling you, once you find that one you want, it's almost uh, every time, put it on there, you know, obviously take the muzzle device off again, put on the correct AccuWasher, spin that muzzle device on, and you're going to put some torque to it, put a wrench to it to tighten it up, 
and, uh, and, it, and what you might find, oh, that, it's a little bit too much. Okay, fine, they take it off and you slightly adjust it to a, a different Accu washer, but it's a couple minutes, and literally, I mean, I'm, I'm serious, it's a couple minutes, and these things don't come off. And the other thing is how these are created. They are so uniform in their thickness, um, left side, right side, top, bottom, whatever you want to call it, they're very, very uniform and you're going to have an excellent alignment of your muzzle device to the bore itself. You certainly don't want a strike as that bullet is passing through. So I hope you found this video informative. As you can see, I am a huge fan, or I'm a big fan, of the AccuWasher system, and I'm also a fan of the muzzle devices by Precision Armaments. HyperTap is excellent, maybe a bit blasty if you've got a short barrel, so be careful with that. EFAB, another fantastic break. Thanks for watching.